What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I am going to show you how you can boot your Raspberry Pi from an external SSD drive using the USB. Basically we install Raspberry Pi OS on SD card and use the SD card as our main OS of our Raspberry Pi board. But after watching this video, you will be able to use an external USB SSD drive as the main storage of your Raspberry Pi and you can install the Raspberry Pi OS desktop on the external SSD drive and boot your Raspberry Pi from that. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you need this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much okay so guys right now you can see my computer screen i had already connected my micro sd card to my computer via a micro sd card reader now after that start the raspberry pi imager application click on choose device and select your raspberry pi model board i am using raspberry pi 4 so i'm gonna click on here then click on choose os scroll down and click on Miss Utility Images. And from here, click on Bootloader Pi 4 Family. And from here, you have to select USB Boot. Boot from USB if available, otherwise, it will boot from SD card. You have to select this option. Then click on Choose Storage. Select your micro SD card. Then click on Next. Then Yes. It will flash the bootloader or firmware on your micro SD card. It will take some time, so you have to wait until the flashing get completed. Okay, now click on continue and you can close this Raspberry Pi image as software. Now eject your micro SD card reader from your computer and connect it with your Raspberry Pi board. Then give power to your Raspberry Pi. And you will see your Raspberry Pi board LED is continuously blinking. Wait for at least 2 to 3 minutes. Ok, our firmware has been changed. Now you can use an external hard drive like this to install the Raspberry Pi OS on the external hard drive. So let me connect my this external hard drive to my computer so that I can flash the Raspberry Pi OS desktop on this external hard drive. Now again, start the Raspberry Pi Imager application. Select your Raspberry Pi board. Then click on Choose OS. And select the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit version. This is the recommended one for my Raspberry Pi 4. Now click on Choose Storage. And select your external USB drive or SSD drive. Here you can see my external SSD drive. Select it, then click on next, then click on yes, or you can click on edit setting and make some changes like auto connect to your Wi Fi router, enable SSH, and all of this. Then click on yes, then yes, and it will start flashing the Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit image on your external SSD drive. It's gonna take some time, so you have to wait until the downloading and flashing get completed. Okay, so guys here you can see flashing has been completed. Now click on continue and exit from this Raspberry Pi Imager application. Now you can exit your external SSD drive from your computer. And now you have to connect your external SSD drive on your Raspberry Pi via the USB cable, connect the keyboard mouse and also connect the monitor via the HDMI cable, then power up your Raspberry Pi. And now your Raspberry Pi should boot from your external SSD drive, not from the SD card. And now using the Raspberry Pi configuration page or Raspberry config, you can use or expand the whole drive as your system drive of your Raspberry Pi. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. 
If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching Hashtag Tutorial and I'm signing out.